You said those people trying? Yes, they trying. That's what you call that? They, you call they don't got nowhere to go. Right. Why, why, why do listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. So does it make sense? I, I agree with you. They ain't got nowhere to go. Now, I'm going to ask you a real serious. What's your name? But I don't want to be rude. Hold this. Somebody Vaughn, take this. Vaughn. Vaughn? Vaughn. What's your name? Rue. Rue Vaughn. I'm going to ask you a direct question. They ain't got nowhere to go. They homeless. They destitute. They without hope, right? Fair enough. I get that. Now, considering that, y'all know who pitching them dope? Getting them strung out? You know, right? People like that. Right. So, here's my question. Here's my question. If they ain't got nowhere to go, no hope, what makes more sense? Give them dope so they kill themselves or try to help them get on their feet and get off the streets. Which one? Hold on. Which one before? Which one makes more sense? The second, the second, the second option. option can I ask you a now, why y'all ain't doing that? Can we I do. ask you a question? No, By giving them dope? I mean, we do, but it's not easy, though. It, that shit is not hard. I mean, that shit is not easy. But now, can I ask y'all a question? Well, I, after, after I get to this, I'm going to get your question, Rob. Don't, don't let me forget. But what, what I'm saying is, Give me, give me, give me, give me where it says thou shalt not put a stomach in the block. You know what I'm talking about? It's in Leviticus 19. 19. You get that? I'm, I'm assuming because you, you, yeah. you say you're concerned about their welfare because they, they're destitute, but you're giving them things that are good. If they overdose and die, you, that's your fault. You killed them. Yes, it is your fault. If you, if you sold it to them, I'm not saying you don't sell drugs. Okay, cool. That's fine. But if someone you or somebody you know sells them dope, that is utterly hypocritical to say you're concerned about their welfare. They're going to die on what you're feeding them. Yes, right. They're going to die, and you killed them. Right. You put the gun in their head, you might as well pull the trigger yourself. So I would argue you don't care about their life because you're killing them. They, they, they got a mind of their own. They do. But my son got a mind of his own, too. But should I give him a damn gun and put it to his head and tell him, son, pull the trigger? If I tell my son, son, take this cocaine, snort it, but he got a mind of his own. He can say, no, dad, that's wrong. But if he doesn't, he overdose. Is that my fault or his? As a, as a person that have a mind of their own, didn't nobody tell them to get on dope? Cool, read that. Read what you got. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 14. Read it out. Thou shalt not curse the deaf, nor put a stumbling block before the blind. You know who the blind are? Your people living in the projects of America. Right. They don't know they're the greatest people in the Bible. They don't know. You were sitting up here for a long time. He went over many things in the Bible showing you that these things happen to you and me in the Bible. Right. So they blind because they don't know that this book talking about them. The black people that frank with the ghettos of America, they the people the Bible talking about. Right. They blind to that. God said you won't put no stumbling block, but they're already destroyed. They're already blind. They're already hopeless. So what's the stumbling block you putting in front of them? Dope. That's right. That's the stumbling block. You, they already hopeless. They already primed to be destroyed, and you helping them. Wake them up. You rolling in the spirit of that white man. That's right. That's what that is. What you got, man? I don't want you to forget your, your question. Read that again, and I'm gonna get your question. Thou shalt not curse the deaf, nor put a stumbling block before the blind. God said, don't do that. Don't you dare put something in their path that's gonna cause them to be destroyed, right. especially if they already doing bad. Right. They already doing bad. So what I look like, that's, that's like you, that's like kicking somebody while they down. They already down. Right, they right. already destitute. They already half dead. And I'ma come in, and I'ma come and kick them and stomp on them. And then and then I say out of my mouth, how dare you? I care about them. No, you don't. You hate them. Right. That's, right. that's what that is. Right. And maybe you didn't know that. And maybe you thought it wasn't no other way. Most of our people, I come from that type of lifestyle. Many of these brothers come from that. So so nothing y'all saying is not new. It's not a new concept. It's not something I don't understand. It's not something they don't understand. But it's evil as hell. Right. right. And you have to say that to yourself to stop doing it. Because the reality, I'm going to show you the dead reality. If you had a baby, you got four of them, I got babies too. How messed up would you be if somebody got your son or daughter strung out on dope? You cool with that? Right. But that's somebody's son or daughter. That's, right. that's right. somebody mama. That's somebody daddy. Right. Are you cool with them being strung out on that? That's right. But you're not okay with it being yours. That's called hypocrisy. Right. You can't say that. You can't say nothing if it happened to you now. Or you a hypocrite. You either don't do it to them, or you, uh, give me that in, in uh, uh, Leviticus 5. Somebody find me where it says, uh, I ain't got my Bible, man. Where it says, uh, all that you would have somebody do unto you. It's like Matthew 5 or something. Right? Yeah, I'm going to get your question while I get that. What's up?
Like you were saying about us putting the, the like poison, putting the poison in our neighborhoods and stuff with our people. Right. Okay. There's eleven of y'all here. How many of y'all got programs for them? There's what do you mean we got programs? Programs that that's positive. They help them. A that bunch was, of them. Guess what? I just told you I come from that. My my yeah, five. My, yeah. my son's twelve now. When my son was five, the only thing he knew about me was me behind some damn glass. That's it. Many of these men come from there. Many of these, these, many of these men, and it's many more like this. Come from, didn't it? Come from selling drugs. Come from being strung up. Come from broken homes. Right. Many of them come from these things. And guess what? All of them been reformed. Right. We got crazy programs for these brothers. But the 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 basis, the foundation of the program, keeping God's commandments. That's right. right. That's the basis. The Bible says, "Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself." I just asked you a question. Do you want somebody getting your baby strung out on dope? Emphatically, no. So how do you exercise love your neighbor as yourself? If you don't want somebody stringing your babies out, you don't do it to this. Right, right. They grown. And when your, so when your baby grown, you gonna be okay with the men strung out on drugs? I mean, they got their own choice. But you gonna be okay with it though. I mean, they got their own choice. Are you gonna be okay with it? Yeah, of course they got their own choice. Right, so, but they grown. But they grown. Got it. I can try, try to help them out, but I can't. Why, why try to tell them not to get strung out on drugs, but not tell them not to get strung out on drugs? Right. You do while selling them drugs? I mean, I can't. Hey, man, them. don't smoke this damn dope while selling them the dope. That makes sense to you? I, I just asked you. I didn't say you did at all. I just asked you, do you know who's selling them drugs? And you said, people okay. like me. You said, said that. People like me. Right. But okay. You you. I, I'm, I'm just having a dialogue. You, you may not be doing it. You may not be doing it, but you know who's doing it, do you not? No. You don't know. You, what's your name, sir? Vaughn. Vaughn. I'm, another direct question. You live around here. You mean to tell me, Vaughn? You don't know who pitching dope to these brothers and sisters out here? Nope. Now surely you think I'm a wiser man than that. Nope. You think, you think, you think, I'm gonna ask you, do you think I believe? Now I'm not gonna call you a liar, but I'm gonna just ask you, do you think I believe that you live around here and you don't know who's selling drugs to these people around here? I mean, I, I honestly don't care what you got. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, but I, I don't, know, I don't, I, know I don't believe that. I don't believe that. That's not realistic, right? But read what you got. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 7 and verse 12. Bring it out. Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you. So God said, whatever you would have somebody do to you, if you don't want nobody robbing you, you can't rob them. Right. You don't want somebody selling dope to your people, you don't sell it to them. If you don't want to see, if you if you don't want to see nobody sell dope to your people, you you shouldn't want to watch it being sold to somebody else. Right. The reason our community jacked up is because we let a bunch of dumb stuff happen and right. we say nothing. Right. We say nothing. We out of sight, out of mind. If it ain't happening to me, I don't see it. That's where you get dumb stuff like don't snitch until your baby get hit. Right. Or your mama get hit. Right. Now somebody better say something. But ain't that snitching though? And half the niggas out here talk about don't snitch. All I'm going to tell when they get them numbers thrown at them. Now tell me I'm lying. Right. So why we follow this dumb hood politics stuff that none of the niggas follow themselves? Right. right. That the niggas that's teaching you this, the, the niggas that's teaching you Molly Percocet, Percocet Molly, these niggas got personal trainers working out in the gym. These niggas ain't doing that stuff. They telling you don't snitch. The, what, what's, the, 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 uh, what's my man uh, the, that just got here with the Rico? Young, young thug. All them slime life and all that. All them niggas about to tell. But they made millions of dollars over telling y'all not to do it. Right. And y'all follow it. And y'all listen to these lying Negroes. Right. And y'all emulate the stuff that these lying Negroes tell y'all. Right. And then we come out here and tell y'all a better way. Not saying y'all, but people get mad at us. Be mad at them niggas that tell you smoke weed, drink Molly, I mean, pop Molly, pop Percocet, and a nigga in the gym with a personal trainer lifting weights. Wake right. him up. He don't put none of that stuff in his body. He tell you to do it and you kill yourself. Be mad at them. Gee. I'm mad at them. I ain't mad at you. You ain't my enemy. Right. None of these people are my enemy. But I'm not going to sit up here and watch them die and not tell them. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. That's, that's, that, that ain't in me. That ain't in me. I used to be this. I used to do this. I hate myself for that shit. Excuse my language. I hate myself for that. I'm guilty of that. You should hate yourself for that. Read it again. Therefore, all things whatsoever ye what that man should do to you, do ye even so to them. That's love your neighbor as yourself. Whatever you want them to do to you, you do it to them. Ain't that what you teach your babies? Treat others the way you want them to treat you? How we forget that when we become grown ass men and women? 
Wake them up. We learn that as babies in preschool. Treat other people as you want them to treat you. Then we grow up and say, I'm going to sell dope to them because they grown. But wait a minute. I ask you another question. You got a daughter? You got a baby girl? Me too. I got a baby girl. Now, you, you sleeping with women around here? Either y'all? You sleeping with women? You marrying her? How many, if you don't mind me asking, you don't have to tell me. How many women do you have babies by? Two. Two. You married either one of them? Would you be okay with a young man putting a baby in your, your little girl? And then not saying you did do this, but I just got to speak plainly as what happens in our communities. Would you be okay with a young man getting your baby girl pregnant and leaving her to raise a baby? And they're going to making another baby with another woman and leave her to raise a baby? You be okay with that? Why not? You do it. Wake him up. You just told me you got two baby mamas, bro. Right. You just told me so. So you, unless you with both of them, you left one of them. Right. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm just you, my man, bro. You my people. I'm gonna just tell you straight. I'm a straight shooter, man. Forgive me for being a straight shooter. I can only go off of what I hear, though. You know what I'm saying? So you would have had to leave one of them. But the problem, I'm not mad at you for not wanting nobody to do that to your daughter. You shouldn't want nobody to do that to your daughter. Right. But if you don't want nobody to do that to your daughter, you can't want to do it to somebody else's. Right. Well, we a hypocrite. We we lie. We I have no more authority to teach no damn body. I can't tell nobody yet. Read what you got. Read it again. Therefore, all things whatsoever ye what that man should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law. And the prophet. That's the law. Treat your neighbor as you want him to treat you. That's the law. What's wrong with him? Sis, you interrupting men in their speech since I'm talking to him. It does matter. That's, pro that's the problem with the Bible. I'm having a conversation with a man about stuff and you interjecting yourself in it. Come on, man. Let's stay in order. Give me that in 1 Corinthians uh, 15. 15 and 40. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm gonna show you. It's, not, it's nothing personal against you. It's all your brother. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's about this. Read what you got. The thing that's going to get black people out of this is order, right. discipline. Right. We don't have no discipline. We go wherever the, the, the wind takes us. And that's what leads us into multiple baby mamas, drug addiction, in prison, jail, whatever the hell. And, and Arabs owning our stores in our community. It's all black people living here, but an Arab man owns the store. Right. I bet you you don't own the store in his community. I bet Habiba Muhammad owns the store in his community. Right. And in your community. Go in his community and open up a store. They might beat your ass and get you out of there. But he come over here in your community and open up a store and let y'all sell dope out of the damn store. And let y'all kill each other behind the damn store. Right. Come on now. Read what you got. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14 and verse 40. Bring it out. Let all things. This is this. The Bible says let all things be done decently and in order. The Bible, that's a commandment. Let all things be done decently and in order. I, I want to deal with your brother. But I'm not going to interrupt a conversation with this brother that that we were already dealing with. Now, now I'm gonna deal with. Now I'm gonna deal with you because I got this question. I dealt with him. What's your question? I got one question. The sister right here said that the brother right there has said some about what she got on pants. It's really not what she got on. It's really what's in the heart. My heart. Cool. Because cool. Guess, because guess what? I'm gonna listen to you. What? All this got women on here that wear certain things. But it's how they act when they got on certain things. Right. How does a woman act when she wear pants? Does she act like a woman? Man, I, I, let's, let's, let's start backwards. Oh. How does a woman, yes, how does a man, hold on, how does a man act when he put on a dress? Does he act like a man? Bring it out. I mean, Bring it out. like what he won't act. Some men. No, 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 no. no. Let's listen, keep it very basic. Listen, if a man puts on a dress, does he walk around, yeah, nigga, I'm a listen, Or does he act listen, real listen, feminine? Listen, right. I just say both. Right. Cool. Into, you said it's about her heart, right? That's all women. Got you. I'm going to show you what God heart. You got what I want? You in the spirit, but this brother is a good, this brother good. Watch this. I'm, listen, this to the Bible. Listen, 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 brother, listen to the Bible. I got you. This to the Bible. I'm going to show you what's in your heart. This is about her heart. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 9. Let's see if God said it's not about what you wear, it's about your heart. The heart. The what? The heart is deceitful. Listen, listen, y'all, listen, y'all talking. Y'all not listening. Black people love to talk and explain something. Listen to what we read in the Bible, right? Listen to what God. I'm, I'm nobody. Listen to what God say about the heart. Read. The heart is deceitful above all things. God said the heart is deceitful. He ain't talking about this thing in your chest. He's talking about your mind. He's saying your mind is deceitful above all things. Read. 
and desperately wicked and desperately wicked you know how you know it's desperately wicked because a black man or woman will justify selling a black man will say some dumb it's like Man, I know I sell dope to my people, but I'm just out here trying to make money to feed my daughter. Wake up. So you gonna feed your daughter off a of killing mom? Bring it out. That's desperately wicked. That's right, evil right. as hell. We all know it's evil, but somehow a Negro's mind will make them justify evil for their benefit. Right. Read it again. Teach. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Read. Who can know it? God said you don't even know your own heart. You don't even know your heart. Hold on, I'm gonna get this. Now, Mark 7. Now, this is the book of Mark, chapter 7 and verse 21. Now Read God going to show you what's in your heart. What's in her heart? Read. I know what's in mine. Far from it. No, you don't. God just said you don't know. God said who can know their heart? That means nobody know it. I'm going to show you what's in your heart. Read. Now, hold on. That's your wife? That's your wife? No, this is my, like my sister. Right. Cool. My brother, man. Read. For from within, out of the heart of men. So the Bible says for within, out of the heart of man, proceed evil he wasn't listening. He was just sitting up there waving to a woman. That's my right. sister right there. Right, that, that's cool. That's cool. Read it again. For from within. Over from within. You listening, brother? From within, read. Out of the heart of men. Out of the heart of men. Proceed evil thought. Do thoughts come from this thing beating in your chest or it come from your mind? Right. So what's your mind according to God? Your heart. That's your mind. From, with, I, from within your heart proceed evil thoughts. Now, what are these thoughts that men don't know is in their mind? Read. Adultery. Adultery. That's sleeping around with a bunch of women. That ain't your wife. It's adultery in your mind. That's why, that's why we wake up in the morning, and one of the first, second, or third things we're going to, and not even in that order, maybe, but somewhere in that day, your mind going to be like, where the hoe was at? Tell me I'm lying. Yeah. Because adultery in your mind. You might wake up, eat, brush your teeth. You might smoke you a blunt. You may go do your business. But somewhere on that day, you're going to be like, where the hoes at? Hey. With the intention of laying down with one of them. Not marry her. Not take care of her if she have a baby. Not take care of the baby if she have a baby. The only thing you're thinking about is, is beating her down. Beating the doonies and then leaving her where she at. Hey. That's whoredom. That's adultery. Hey. That's hey. evil according to God. And that's in your mind. That's in your heart. Hey. Read. Fornication. Fornication, same thing along the lines of adultery, read. Murder. What? Murder. Murder. Like what probably happens out here. Unless, unless this is the only place in America where there's drugs being pushed and people ain't getting murdered. America was built on murder. Yeah, but why we got, yeah, America was built off white people murdering us. Now we murder us. Right, right. right. I, I would believe that statement if, if a bunch of black people was going and murdering a whole bunch of white people and taking over their stuff. But that ain't what y'all doing. Y'all sitting up here on, on, on Route 1 in Chicago murdering each other. Whether it's dope or guns. Y'all killing each other. So America was raised on murdering. You, but they don't murder themselves. That's right. Name, name, name white people where it's, it's just in them to go and kill themselves. They killing you. One just ran up in the store and killed three of you. Another one uh, tried to run up in the church and tried to kill more of you. Right. They emboldened to kill you. They put you in a ghetto and put dr No, it's where the grocery store at? The closest one Yeah. Think miles, about it. A couple miles away. A couple miles away. How you ain't got no food in your neighborhood, but y'all got drugs in your community? Right. Hey, Answer now. my question. Answer that. How the hell you got drugs and guns, but you ain't got no damn food? And who controlling that? Yeah, America was built off of murder. You, you dying. That's why drugs and guns, there's no life in the community. Ain't no water, ain't no food, but there's a hell of a lot of death in the community. Hey. That's all you, that's all you get. You get that for free. I come for plenty of drugs and guns in the community because I know y'all niggas gonna kill y'allself. I ain't going I ain't gonna bring no life in here. I ain't gonna build nothing nice. The only thing I'll give you that may look nice is a Christian church where I'm gonna teach you that white Jesus is God and white God is God and white people are the best and Worship me and kill yourself. Right. Yeah, it shouldn't. The Bible should mean something to you, though. Right. Because it's talking about you. Read it again. Adultery, fornication, murder, theft. Theft. Because niggas steal, do they not? Or, or maybe people not robbing each other. All right. Read. Covetousness. Covetousness. He got on. He got a pair of shoes out. Like I don't want. He getting too much money around here. That nigga stunting on me. That's covetousness. Hey. Read. Wickedness. Read. Deceit. 
Lasciviousness. That's evil sexual desires. Like somebody wanted to lay down with somebody babies. Somebody kids. Read. An evil eye. Evil eye. I can't stand that nigga, man. Why you keep looking at me like that? Like a, a young lady. A young lady driving by looking at what you looking at. A woman talking to me like that? That's the crazy stuff in the black community. A woman can talk to a man who got the power of death in his finger and she couldn't stop him. But she gonna talk to him like she ready to beat him up. Read. Blasphemy! Pride! Pride. Read. Foolishness! Foolishness. There's a bunch of dumb stuff happening in the community. Read. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. Everything that we just read is in a man's heart, in his mind. And they defile us and it defiles our neighborhood. by example. Nation is family.